All right, monopolistic competition versus perfect competition. In this video, learn similarities and differences between the two, as well as whether or not monopolistic competition is efficient. All right, so a lot of this I actually said in the last video, even though it wasn't technically the subject matter, but looking at these two together, they're similar in that they both have many firms, and in the long run, they both earn zero economic profit because they charge a price that is equal to average total cost. So on the left-hand side, that's the picture of a perfectly competitive firm in long-run equilibrium. In the right, that is a monopolistically competitive firm in long-run equilibrium. And they both, you see that their price is equal to average total cost, zero economic profit. However, monopolistically competitive firm charges a price that is greater than marginal cost. So because of that, an additional sale at the price increases revenue because price is greater than marginal cost. Therefore, monopolistically, pe I can't speak, I can't say it. Monopolistically competitive firms want to increase sales, so they engage in advertising. Perfectly competitive firms, you'll notice, really don't engage in advertising because they're charging a price that is equal to marginal cost. So essentially they become indifferent to that one more unit sold in long run equilibrium. <clears throat> All right, um, another difference here is that while both of them in the long run produce where price equals average total cost, um, notice where on the average total cost curve they're producing. So a perfectly competitive firm produces at the bottom of the average total cost curve, the minimum cost output. However, monopolistic competitive firms produce on the downward sloping portion of the ATC curve, producing a lower quantity than if they minimized average total cost. Again, and we're going to talk about this in the next couple of slides, um, because they're not producing the efficient quantity. They're producing at the quantity where MR equals MC, but then charging that higher price on the demand curve, so they don't produce as large a quantity, which is going to cause them to produce on this downward sloping ATC curve, meaning that if they produce more, their average total cost would actually continue to decrease, but they don't produce enough. So the term for that is known as excess capacity. So monopolistic competitive firms produce less than the output at which ATC, average total cost, is minimized. So that is an inefficiency that takes place in the monopolistically, monopolistically competitive, man, that is hard to say, industries. So the question then is, is monopolistic competition inefficient? Well, it's true that because it's not at the minimum ATC, um, that some mutually beneficial transactions don't take place. There are, again, along that demand curve, it says AR on there, that represents buyers who are willing to pay more than the marginal cost, and they're not able to buy that product that they would like to. So consumers also pay higher prices for the good, because again, they have that some market power. They're charging the price at the quantity where MC equals MR. But on the flip side, we have a large diversity of products. We get so many options, um, so many different things to choose from. So it's probably much better. All of the diversity that we get is probably worth the higher prices and the small um, amount of transactions not taking place that could have taken place. This has been a La Money production. Hey,